Hello YouTube! Wow, slight enthusiast here. Today I would like to show you the newest Ace Beam E70 aluminum version that also is available in titanium and copper versions. This is the 21700 cell EDC flashlight with quite a unique design as you may probably tell by the view all this flashlight and all these photos on the internet but I'm so glad that Ace Beam actually shipped this one for me uh, for review so I could show you this this one also on this channel so thank you very much Ace Beam and let's see what we've got here we've got a quite plain white package with uh, some key features of the flashlight uh, we've got the specs here so obviously I chose the 5000k version but as you can see the cool white is also available which is standard for for Ace Beam very nice that they offer also neutral white here uh, we can order additional battery because uh, standard version does not come uh, with the battery you can uh, obviously use your own one both protected and unprotected cells fit the flashlight works perfectly fine so I'm very glad that they did this in the design section uh, we've got some QR codes here for the main Facebook groups and websites also YouTube channel uh, and we've got some applications of the flashlight here so as you can see we've got mountaineer camping construction cycling first aid adventure basically everything covered uh, so the box is really nice because as you can see we've got this magnetic opening here uh, so yeah and we also uh, can see the flashlight because of this plastic window here uh, cool okay so this is the flashlight we've got this little thing to really easily get it out of the box Ooh, look at that one the design is definitely beautiful all this knurling here quite unique I must say although the design is is pretty familiar with uh, you know FW3A and all those electronic switch the rear and the driver being in the front and double tube design but uh, wow it's been really managed to do this uh, really nicely Ooh, look at that later I'll show you even more but for now let's focus what we've got apart from that in the package so okay we've got the Ace Beam pouch nice addition Ooh, looks really good okay apart from that we also got a lanyard Ace Beam obviously logo We've got this adjustable wristband, okay. Uh, double o ring replacement, which is always good. Apart from that, some warranty card, uh, yeah, lithium battery warning, uh, warranty card, and obviously manual. Manual is in English and in Chinese. And voila, this is all, all right. So if you order the kit version with the battery obviously you will have to remove the plastic foil before you can operate the flashlight but in this case it is actually ready to use. I also found this little note from Ace Beam uh, this is always a nice touch uh, definitely showing that they care for the customer and their experience good all right so returning to the Ace Beam E70 flashlight as you can see the design is quite unique Ah, I forgot. Please remember to remove this one because without it, the beam pattern will be, well, quite strange. Okay, okay. So look at this. This is aluminum version. Obviously, you can get also titanium in uh, two different variants and the copper one. This is the lightest and uh, will transfer the heat probably the best. Uh, obviously, copper can do it even better, but you risk your hands to be hurt because of the heat transfer all right so as you can see we've got uh, Ace Beam web address here uh, some learning here hot warning here on the head and apart from that some serial number C and don't throw me away sign the clip is very nice quite sturdy Although I know that some users complain that on titanium and copper versions they are so called limited, so the clip looks even better. But I like, I really like this one. I have nothing against. And as you can see, you can change the position 
uh, here and rotating even further we've got the lanyard attachment here and actually the, when the flashlight came out of the box the lanyard was attached I just uh, unattached it because I don't like the lanyard but uh, it will be attached from the factory okay so we've got the electronic switch obviously the flashlight does not work because I didn't insert the battery but uh, it will work soon we've got anti-reflective coating XHP 70.2 LED assuring that the flashlight will actually achieve the 4600 lumens and around 240 meters of beam distance and uh, this is pretty pretty close to reality so I don't suspect ASBIM to be giving false numbers okay so the flashlight can be disassembled only in the head section so you unscrew it right here as you can see the threads are highest quality well greased the o-ring is also wet so yeah very good I get the impression that the threads could be a little bit longer but uh, that's okay Alright, so as you can see, double tube design, here we've got gold plated spring, so let's insert the standard Samsung 50E battery, as you can see it is flat top unprotected, so let's see if the flashlight will work even with this quite big space there, huh? Quite loose, but nothing rattling here, only in this direction. A little bit but uh, in the vertical position nothing happens so uh, double click for on yeah kind of unusual double click is because you can avoid accidental activation because the switch is actually quite light and very tactile so definitely well designed and uh, I get the impression that it's even better than in FW3A if you know the flashlight, uh, that one was designed for multiple clicking, and I get the impression that Ace Beam here designed it even, even better. The feel of this switch is very, very light clicking, and uh, the click is very responsive. So very, very nice. I like the feel of the switch. So double click for on, and then hold the side switch to cycle through low, medium one, medium two, and high, and then again low one click for on then from off you hold the switch to enter the moonlight mode as you can see quite low well, definitely I like that one it's it's low enough to be called a moonlight mode then uh, you can hold the side switch to enter the loop so low medium one medium two high etc uh, and from any other mode you can double click for turbo mode it is gradual increase in brightness so i like that one obviously you can hold the, the side switch to enter the loop again but you can also uh, double click for sorry double click for turbo and double click again to return to the previous mode used uh, the one drawback that i can see in this kind of ui is that because of the double click for turning on the flashlight uh, is present here you cannot actually activate the turbo mode while the flashlight is off so to activate the turbo mode you have to click four times all right so one two to enter the flashlight modes and then double click for turbo mode all right if you click four times quickly you get the strobe mode because when you click multiple times in a row you get the strobe mode minimum is three obviously so one to three and then you've got the strobe mode when you hold the side switch again you enter the normal loop and apart from that, uh, you also have the lockout mode to avoid accidental activation. So uh, you hold the side switch from off, that switch actually. You hold, you keep pressing, keep pressing while the flashlight will blink a couple of times. And now we've got actually no response at all, no blinking, nothing. You can click all you want, but then to unlock the flashlight, you have to click and hold the switch until the flashlight turns on so a couple of blinks and then you got it fully operational all right so this is for the ui the beam pattern actually is really well designed i mean the xhp 70.2 is the kind of led that gives you a huge tint shift especially in the reflector so first of all ace beam did uh, was the orange peel reflector so woo, 
this kind of smooths out the beam a little bit but uh, look at that I mean double click for on I mean we've got slightly yellowish corona this is the 5000 K I remind you but we've got the pure white spill and uh, just slightly yellowish spot so for the kind of XHP 70.2 LED this is miracle this is really a nicest beam from this LED I have ever seen uh, and mind you the reflector is not that deep right so we don't have the crazy throw here uh, but uh, for DC purposes this uh, this beam I found really perfect uh, so from self-defense purposes we've got the crenulated bezel uh, the crenulations are not that deep uh, and sharp but believe me you probably don't want to get hurt by that uh, so yeah apart from that guys uh, I mean the kind of drawback I see here definitely is uh, because of this design of this grooves and uh, soft edges when you get this flashlight into sand uh, it might be really horrible to get it cleaned because of this uh, design the, the, the sand would probably go everywhere in case you ordered one with uh, the battery included uh, I have to admit that the charging is a little bit slow around 1 amp as you can see right now on the screen uh, so it took me around 5 hours to fully charge the 21700 battery provided by the Ace Beam but on the other hand it is definitely a safe rate so don't worry about it improved but apart from that the, the flashlight is perfect right I really like it looking at the runtime graphs here as you can see we've got the turbo mode obviously uh, the flashlight steps down because of the size uh, but after 35 seconds I measured around 42 degrees Celsius and the flashlight started to gradually step down to around 1350 lumens and it held this level for around 1 hour and 45 minutes then it steps down so everything perfectly in line with what Ace Beam advertises even the, the runtime is even a little bit longer than advertised one and a half hours in turbo mode but as you can see the flashlight steps down after around 35 seconds and then after one minute it is already in the lower mode. Looking at the high runtime graph uh, I have no questions here I mean the, the st stabilization is perfectly flat the, the Ace Beam drivers are legendary here so everything as as expected from the Ace Beam uh, EDC flashlight so as you can see we've got uh, around two hours of runtime which is again a little bit more than they advertise on the, the website uh, one hour and 45 minutes I believe uh, so very nice uh, and here the, the heat was even a little bit uh, more but uh, the flashlight did not exceed 60 degrees uh, and as you may probably r read in the manual the 65 degrees Celsius is the kind of threshold that the flashlight will step down by this temperature so yeah still perfectly fine and the medium mode medium 2 actually because we've got two medium modes here medium 2 which is the third highest mode uh, again perfectly flat regulation around 600 lumens uh, 42 degrees maximum measured so nothing crazy here the flashlight did not get any hot too hot to handle and we've got perfectly flat output for over 5 hours and 30 minutes so it's crazy and actually the Ace Beam advertised this one for 4 hours so we've got even a longer runtime okay guys uh, size wise this flashlight is pretty standard as you know this is 21700 cell so flashlight so I brought this Sofern SP35 as you can see size wise these are pretty similar you can check the review right in the top, uh, top right corner all right so a little bit bigger uh, I have also another 21700 cell which is the Fireflies E07 you may probably know this one you can also check the review right in the top right corner okay so let's go to the forest and show you some beam shots Ace Beam E70 aluminum version this is low medium one medium two high 
Ah, turbo. Hell yeah. This is damn bright. Oh yeah, this is bright. Once again, low, medium one, medium two, high. And turbo. Look at this. Light is everywhere. Quite floody, I'm afraid, but this is good. I like it that way. H beam E70. Turbo. And high. Noctigun KR4 for comparison. Turbo. Summing up. Well, what can I say, guys? I mean, this, this flashlight was a perfect ADC uh, choice for many of you, uh, as I saw on the Facebook groups. Uh, you already use this one, and uh, I can probably tell that you're satisfied just like me. I mean, this flashlight is nearly perfect. Uh, we've got an excellent stabilization as uh, standard from, from Ace Beam. We've got the, a good runtime. And almost no tint shift uh, despite the XHP 70.2 LED uh, quite amazing output for a flashlight this size uh, obviously the looks of these flashlights are quite unique on the market and I really like this one uh, something that I would criticize or, or maybe change in the future versions is definitely the UI that two two clicks for on uh, makes me wonder why uh, we have to use this. Uh, I understand the safety reasons, but uh, no shortcut from off or turbo mode uh, might be annoying for some of you. For me it is definitely, uh, but for some of you it might be not. I also would like to see a little bit longer threads to make the heat dissipation for the tube a little bit better. But apart from that guys, I, I really enjoy reviewing this flashlight and uh, I have no other critic uh, points to, to address here. So definitely enjoying the review of this flashlight, enjoying using that, uh, and well, I'm really glad that Ace Beam sent it to me for review. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because more videos are on the way, leave a comment if you have any questions, and uh, well guys, stay safe, and thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next one.